Okay, you guys, we're back at Clean Energy Research, and um, today I am actually supporting the Broncos, and I'm really sorry, I know this is probably offensive to a lot of people that are football fans, but the Broncos are doing some initiatives to support solar energy, and it's kind of cool, so that's the only reason I'm supporting them. Um, if you have a team that you want us to support and they're doing something in solar, send us an email and we will support that team as well. I'm, so are you not a Broncos fan? I'm definitely a Broncos fan, but this has more to do with solar energy and okay. less with being a Broncos okay. fan. Then we can continue. <laughs> okay. So we talk to thousands of homeowners all the time. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we encounter in this industry are the big fat lies. Yep. Um, like, what's her name on Austin Parr says? She says, lies are lies! <laughs> you know, so this is these are lies, all lies of the solar panel yeah, there's industry. there's a lot of them out there. And so we're going to run through some of these to help you guys kind of wade through all the, the BS out there and try to get to some actual information, some truth about it. So one of the most common things that we hear is that solar panels are just too expensive. Yep. This is probably the biggest barrier that we have to break through and it's not so much that it's a big lie being put out there unless of course you're in North Carolina and you've got Duke Energy with commercials than it is, but in most of the country it's actually just a preconception. So people think that solar panels, when they hear solar, the first thing they think is I don't have 50 grand to, you know, that's not for me. But what people don't understand is that the way it is today, it's literally something that costs you less than more immediately the very first month. And that's without putting any money down. And it will continue to cost you less every single month. So instead of paying your utility company X amount, you'll pay a solar company a smaller amount. And that's without putting anything down. Wow. So, okay, so let's say we have a typical American family and they don't want to take any money out of savings. And mm -hmm. the last thing they want to do is apply for a loan because maybe they're planning on getting a new SUV or something like right. that. But their credit's pretty good. They can still get into solar panels. Absolutely. That's it. There's, there's tons of different options. You can choose to purchase the panels outright, which may sound like it's more expensive, but they have programs that are still zero down and still less than your utility company bill every month. Awesome. So the way it works today, it's, it's literally a no-brainer. People just don't know this because before 2011, there was no such thing as third-party ownership. So it did not exist. So it was wow. almost like if you wanted a car, you'd have to go to the lot with $20,000. And it's not like that anymore. So that's what people don't know. Wow, awesome, you guys. So just keep that in mind. It, it can work for you. OK, the second huge lie that we hear in the solar panel industry is that they are unreliable. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't even know what that means, but it's just something people feel like they're unreliable, like they're going to break or something not going to work. Or... It seems to be that we hear the most, I'm going to wait until the panels are perfected, mm -hmm. which is really funny to anybody in the industry because the actual solar panels themselves have not really changed since, you know, whenever they were invented so long ago. The only thing that's really changed significantly is how we make them. And how we make them has changed so drastically that we're able to produce them for a much lesser cost. So that is why the cost has dropped over 60x percent over the past few years. Not because the panels are better, but because the way we make them is more efficient now. So the panels are not really going to change much. There's a lot of new technology that's very cool, like solar paint and solar shingles, and those are very cool. And we do have some nice. solar companies we know of who are, who are dabbling with that. They are definitely not ready yet. They're really for the millionaires who want to have the cool things right now. Right. But the, the standard solar is not going to change much. It's pretty much within the peak of its efficiency the way it is today. And they're strong, right? I mean, oh, unbelievably, strong. yeah. I okay. mean, they test these things with... Uh, shooting um, golf ball sized ice uh, at them at you know high velocity speeds. They're, wow. they're extremely durable. Um, in fact, they protect the roof a lot of times from storms and things like that. So uh, this is, you could do a lot to this and it wouldn't break. All right, so the next lie that you guys have probably heard is it's just way too cloudy in my yeah. state yeah. for solar panels. Like I would never generate any power. It doesn't make any sense. Yep, yeah, you'd be amazed. Lies, oh, lies. <laughs> yes. Oregon, people we call Oregon and Portland, I can't go solar, it's always shade. No, that's not true. 
Um, you know, you can get a sunburn while it's cloudy out. The reason is because the UV rays don't right. penetrate. So, no, that is not a problem. Um, and it also seems to be, well, what happens when it's a storm or it's shady for a few days? Will our power run out? No, oh, yeah. you're still connected to the grid just like everybody else. In fact, if everybody else's power goes out, yours is still going to go out too. You're not going to be 100% on your own system. Although there are a lot of, well, most companies who will do that for you if that's what you're looking for. Nice. That's a little more like zombie apocalypse preparation than actual <laughs> nice. money saving. So, yeah. And okay, the next lie is that solar panels are just too tough to maintain. Yeah, I don't even know where that one comes from. Um, really, all you need to do is hose them off about every, I don't know, three to six months. Okay. And actually, if you go with a lease, which is a lease or a PPA or one of those programs, mm -hmm. the maintenance is 100% not on you. So they Holy will cow. come out with a hose and do that for you. Okay, so There's if you're, no maintenance so let's that. say you're maybe a little older and you don't like the idea of like trying to get up on your roof or hose your roof off, and you don't want to spend any money, maybe you're on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. You can get the solar panels immediately saving you money without yes. spending a dime, yes. and the company will also maintain them for you. Yes, and there's actually Sweet. much more to it. You also can lock in a rate that's lower. So imagine that you could lock in the gas rates today for the next 30 years. You right. would do it. Right. So you have that. Your house is worth more immediately, even if you're just leasing. If you want to sell your home, your home will sell three times faster. Green homes sell three times faster. Wow. And for quite a bit more money, I did read an article, it was $9 more per square foot. I don't know where that article came from, so I can't guarantee that's true. But I do know your house is worth more. Wow. You help the environment, there's potential tax write-offs. I mean, it's this is why I said it's a no-brainer. There's right. a list of benefits. Last big lie that we hear all the time is, I'm not an environmentalist. I'm not a hippie. <laughs> I don't want solar panels on my roof. It doesn't make any sense. They're only yeah. for environmentalists. Yeah. How do we respond to that? That's Again, that was before 2011. Before mm. that, that, those are the people who went solar because they wanted to say, you know, I'm doing something for the right. environment. The majority of people today who go solar, that is not their primary motive, although it's a great benefit, especially for us and our children in the future. Mm -hmm. um, nope. It's just about saving money it's now, it's really money. what it is. That's why Texas, a lot of people think, oh, Texas, you know, they're, they're very conservative. It's not about right. politics anymore, it's not about going green, although that's a great benefit. It's about yeah. saving money. Yeah. We like the benefit of it, but it really is. The bottom line is we're here to help homeowner, homeowners save money, and right. that's that really is the most important mission here. Yep. All right, you guys. Well, there you go. There you have it. Um, all football teams that are pro-solar, yay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we'll see you guys again at Clean Energy Research. Have a great one, and save money on your solar panels. Call us. We'll help you. Yep. We'll help you find the best program for you in your area. All right.